Hey guys, welcome back to Healthy Kitchen. How are you? Uh, so I've had a few requests here for more meal prep videos and what I have here for you today is a meal prep with salmon and a bit of sauteed vegetables and chickpeas. Let me know how you guys enjoy it. So I want to start off here with some nice beautiful Atlantic salmon, some mushrooms, trio peppers, so yellow, red, green, and some broccoli florets and some chickpeas, okay? Also, I will include one whole lemon and this right here is basically my own homemade recipe it is sauteed garlic peppers herbs and olive oil basically it's just one of my homemade marinades um, I'll have the recipe for it down below very soon and what we have here is some grainy Dijon mustard just to brush our salmon so first of all you want to start off basically just a little bit of crap black pepper and some kosher salt okay um, you can use Himalayan salt, pink salt and a little bit of olive oil now basically you wanna paint a beautiful picture here with your mustard just spread all the mustard all over the salmon evenly make sure everything is well coated so that it grills nicely okay and it should basically look like that when it's done now you want to add a little bit of that herb infused oil just on the bottom of the pan and then add in the mushrooms. We are going to start here by sauteing the mushrooms and add in that homemade marinade that I had and build flavors. Okay, so we need to caramelize the mushrooms building up from the bottom, add in all the extra seasonings that you need. So just a little bit of salt, pepper, some uh, garlic powder there. A little bit of crushed thyme add that all in saute it guys mushrooms are packed with water okay so the aim is to get as much of the water out of there as possible and then add in the chickpeas and it should look like that and basically now what I want to do is just add in a little bit of tomato sauce this is not necessary but I enjoy eating it this way so I suggest maybe you give it a shot and let me know what you think. I just gave it a quick taste test there, made sure all the seasonings are right before I added in my peppers. So always add your peppers or your herbs, or, or sorry, not your herbs, but your vegetables last, just to make sure that you're not overcooking them, okay? I add the lid on here and I basically let it go for about uh, more or less four or five minutes, and then I move on to my salmon. So start placing the salmon on the grill. Make sure the grill is nice and hot, well oiled, so we can get those nice charred grill marks that we're looking for. I close the door for about three minutes and open it, and that's what I had. Now, at that point, my vegetables were done, so I just gave them a quick toss, added them off to the side for plating later on, and I had my lemon that I mentioned earlier that I warmed up on the grill just to release all the juices, and after about five minutes, I squirted the juice all over the salmon. Now with our veg done, I began my plating. Very simple, rustic plating here. I place all my vegetables down, salmon off to the side. Pretty classy presentation. Now for the meal prepping, what I did was I pre-portioned everything. Depending on what your goal is here, you portion to the size that you would like. I portion to the side that I enjoy. Um, more or less each piece of salmon that I had here was about five and a half ounces, five, five, five and a half to six ounces. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe. And as always, ciao. Oh, yeah, here's a quick shot of me just eating that salmon and uh, enjoying myself. And it was really juicy, really flavorful. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Thanks.